So, you do have homework over March break. However, before everybody starts complaining, you still have the normal seven days that are during the school week. So if you have homework from now to the end of the week, so you have all this week you could be working on it, you have it over March break, and it's due the 20th when you get back. So you still have tons of time to complete the following assignment. So don't be under the impression, if you're going away for the full March break, awesome. Enjoy your vacation. Don't worry about your homework. You can get it done this week. You can get it done in the few days after you get back. Still expecting home reading. Five nights. If you choose to do more, that counts towards that excellence in responsibility because you are going beyond the expectation of five nights of home reading. That's what I record. So, homework assignment for this week. Can I give you the assignment and then if you have questions still, I'll answer it. It's like a bit like the thing. And what? No, I'm not answering it right now. Just hold on. When I'm done, I will answer your question. Your homework assignment for this week. This afternoon, we're going to start to take a look at speeches. We're going to start to talk about the components that make up a speech. So, your job is going to be to pick, I've got two links on here to TED Talks. Okay, TED Talks are talks, they're short, that are given by professionals. Some of them are students that are experts or have some kind of unique experience that they are sharing. There is two links here. One is TED Talks to watch with kids or Talks to watch with the family. If you choose to watch a TED Talk that is not one of these, that's fine. I don't, there's no issue with that. But these are two good links that have a list of different websites that you can go to that have different links to different videos that I feel like are good ones to take a look at. So you're going to pick one of those videos, then in your notebook, you're going to record the topic of the speech, what the point or the message of the speech is, the hook, and we'll talk about a hook this afternoon when we take a look at a few different speeches, what were the main talking points, and what was the powerful ending. So you're going to write to me what you think those things were in the TED Talk you watched. Now, I've done this for a couple of years now with students and with classes, and they often come back raving about some of the TED Talks that they've seen. So you might choose to see, watch one. If it's not that interesting, find one that is interesting to you, because there's some really good ones out there, and they'll start to have a co class conversation about the ones that are really worth watching. Okay? So if you feel like you start in on one and you're like, eh, this isn't really for me, switch to a different one that is more interesting to you. Okay? So you're looking for those elements of the speech that's being given during the TED Talk. And that's what you're going to answer in your notebook. So in a minute, I'm going to give you the salmon-colored piece of paper with those questions and the links, and you can glue them into your book. Also, <clears throat> if you go to our class website, I've already posted the links under the homework section. So you can go in there and actually click it instead of having to type the whole thing out. All right. Question. What does it have to be TED Talk? Yes. And also, like, you would at least have five, like, 20-minute periods in March break that you could read. Some of you I know are channeling, though. So that might not be a possibility. But regardless, you've got days this week. You've got days when you get back the following week. Okay? So there's, I'm not accepting excuses. Erin? I answered the question. Okay. So you can pick different TED Talks, or you can use the ones that are here, but I'd like them to be TED Talks, just because I think that that narrows it down. Does it have to be on, like, like, on, like, like, specific, like, something like, like, specific topic? No. No. I've got TED Talks. Uh, I've picked some that are targeting, like, they're either students that are giving the TED Talk, or they're about topics related to children and the family, but you can pick a TED Talk on any appropriate subject. What is subject. a TED Talk? We'll talk about that a little further this afternoon. Oh, okay. can you do more than one? You need to answer the questions for one of them. You can watch. Like, honestly, I got watching TED Talks the other day and, like, lost an hour of my life to TED Talks because they were so engaging and so interesting, and I probably watched six. So they're not long, they're fairly short, they're usually about five minutes in length, 
So you can watch quite a few of them in a short span of time. But your focus is on writing the answers to these questions in your notebook. Any other questions? Yep. Can we do multiple? Like do the questions for multiple TED Talks? Yeah, if you think it would be helpful, absolutely. I'm only expecting you to do one. It's just, so it can go beyond anything you find. Like Any talk. TED Talk that you find. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there was a really interesting one last year the students found about a galloping horse, and it's all about puppetry and how they make the puppet look real, like a real-life horse, but it's actually not. And the students that watched it loved it so much. They went back and said, you like, you have to go watch this, this TED Talk. And then people were going off and watching the TED Talks at other times after the homework was done. So find one that's interesting. Like, don't settle for one where you're like, oh, this is kind of boring. Find one that's cool for you. Okay? Thanks, Mom. I have a question. Um, I have a question. If you um, do what Sarah did and answer them for multiple ones, and you have two that you really like, if you bring them in, is that like reading extra nights? Yep. I will give you bonus credit for that, for sure. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah? Okay. It's going above and beyond what I'm expecting you to do. Okay. That's it, then. Thanks.